So welcome back to another video. And as promised, we brought you on the journey to Artec to get this thing tuned and see if we can hit our 300 brake target. I bet then again, I think anything over about 280. Good send enough? It. Yeah, send it. Send it. So yeah, we're here, we're just waiting and uh, also it'll get in and do its health checks and stuff and uh, see what happens. <laughs> we're back. Yes, that's right. Kyle is wearing shorts. It's minus two degrees and Kyle is wearing shorts. Do you know why? Plonka. Lucky I got my crops yeah. on. <laughs> During the health check, they found some problems and called us out to show us these issues and explain what the problem of them was. And it all made perfect sense. Why didn't I not notice this sooner? I could have done something about it, but it is what it is at the moment. So we've just had the health inspection. I'm pretty sure that's gone okay. Yeah, that's nice uh, healthy. But the exhaust, isn't it, Carl? Exhaust, mate, shit. Yeah, gravity. Don't buy gravity one. The um, the size of the downpipe coming off the turbo is actually smaller than the flange on the turbo by about 15, 20 mil. So it actually steps down and it's gonna restrict the flow. So I don't know if we're gonna get the numbers we're aiming for today, but we'll have to find out and see what happens. Uh, but it's, it's I don't know, we'll just see what happens in it. But um, don't buy a gravity one and that's gonna be getting swapped out very, very soon. Well, full send it. Right, full send. Thank you. The car is on the rollers. Exciting to see what we can get out of this. I think the mapping is all done now, isn't it? Do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. What are you going to tell him? Target? Are you going to tell him? What? The, no. The figures. Don't know, let's wait until we officially get the Official figures. targets to come. Yeah. We've seen what it could be. We've seen what we think the last figure is, but we'll, we'll wait until we do have the final result. Basically, we basically got to where we wanted to get to, but the downpipe let us down. You're missing seven brake horsepower. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm missing seven brake horsepower from the downpipe that wasn't, um, basically wasn't the right diameter of the turbo, it was smaller. So it was like stepping yeah, into I, it. I probably it? wouldn't blame the downpipe as much. Right. You know what I mean? I think the, big, the biggest issue is the preload on the actuator, right. just, because obviously it's the original actuator, yeah. 120,000 on it. So we cracked that so four or five mil. Four or five mil bit of preload on that. Where you've got the step down, you've got a bottleneck on the exhaust, yeah. you're going down to standard size. So it comes through, bottleneck, it ain't gonna like that. It's gonna we'll cause map it again. If I just, so you said with the actuator, we'll do In, in theory, again. If, you, if you just put in, there's enough headroom there, it's only peaking at 1.6, so it'll compensate for itself on the overboost. Okay. Uh, but at the top end, it should give you that right. 10 brake horsepower at the top end, them two things, a little bit of preload and the bottom neck, then you should be at 300 brake horsepower. But with the front wheels at the moment. Absolutely pointless in this weather. Yeah, this, this weather's but I mean, we, we just went out, didn't we? And it was just, yeah, spin up, spin, spin up, up, spin up. But it sounds good. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Check the drivers in a while, you know what yeah, I mean? Nice if, you, song, if, you, if you're not going nowhere fast, yeah. it sounds good. Yeah, we'll so. be in touch anyway, we do anything else. Yeah, keep, uh, keep us updated, like you so if you need, you need uh, It'd be nice if you do do them things. Yeah, I, I think I'll get it do back, that. Even if it's just a quick power when you're passing by, just so yeah. that can, you put it on the dyno and just make sure it's yeah. okay, then we won't charge you, just whack it on there if you're passing by and have a quick look. But bottleneck, a little bit of preload on the actuator. So we're back at the workshop after visiting Artec and taking Nikki's advice, I've already adjusted the actuator. You can sort of see that here or here. It's going to come up somewhere on this screen and to sort out that belly on the exhaust i've taken the gravity one off because i was never that happy with how it fitted 
and I went for a nice new Scorpion one with Sports Cat. So we will not have that belly bottle nose in the exhaust. It'll be French all the way. I could have got the sleeve, but it meant cutting the gravity exhaust, but I can sell the gravity exhaust if someone wants that. And I haven't chopped off the end bit, so if they've still got the original system, they can still connect that up to it. But as I said, I wasn't that impressed with it in the first place. So obviously, new gasket and new nuts on the downpipe. So let's uh, crack on and get this new downpipe on. So getting out of the downpipe, we've got that bit in already. So we are getting there. All of that is all on. There's not much space under the car. Uh, but yeah, all of that bit's all on. So I'll put the under tray on, but we'll make sure we're not playing first. So I've just got to put this pipe on here. I'm hoping this is going to fit and we ain't got to cut it. But if we have to cut it, we have to cut it. So let's see what happens. So I've just cut this pipe down probably 20 mil. So obviously it's going from the Scorpion down pipe uh, sports car into a gravity rear system. So not made for each other, so slightly different sizes. So probably about 20 mil I've taken off it. So hopefully it should fit now. Yeah, I reckon that's good. That's looking good to me. Unfortunately, I can't show too much because it's, I'm underneath the car and there's not much room. So bear with me with this and uh, let's get this on. Let's go and line up the tailpipes. Uh, what do we need for that? So it's all lined up, well, as well as I can go. I mean, it's not perfect. That one sticks out quite a lot and this one should be out more. But standard gravity. So I'll probably get them chopped and that one, get that one brought forward. So let's start it up and see if we've got any leaks. Do you know something? It don't sound as loud. It sounds better. Right, we're well started, so that's something. It does sound a lot different. I don't know if it's a little bit quieter with the Scorpion downpipe. But let's check for leaks.
so we've done the things that Nikki from Arsec have advised us to do. We got rid of the belly out of the exhaust, that's three inch all the way. And we've put done the preload on the actuator up at four to five mil on that. So hopefully it's all good now and we hit our 300 brake mark out of this little carry three. So let's put it under the trail, tidy up, get this thing on the floor and go for a drive. All right. Let's have a go. New exhaust always stink. To be fair, the other one weren't that old. The other one was 625 miles old. Hopefully we won't get an engine management light because we changed the cat, but it was a sports cat to a sports cat. So it should hopefully be all right. And obviously we wound out the... Uh, So good. No management light. Do you know something? I ain't being funny. It's a lot nicer to drive swapping over to this can than it was the last one. And to be fair, the last, the gravity one, didn't fit that well. I mean, I got it to fit after a few cuts and stuff like that. So if anyone wants to buy it off me for cheap, let me know. Um, I've kept the bit on the back, didn't chop it, so you can still use it on your original exhaust. But no, this one just feels a little bit better. A bit quieter. But obviously still louder than stock. It just sounds a bit better. Obviously we kept the gravity back box, because to be fair, the gravity back box sounds all right. But to be honest with you, since going to Artec, the car does feel absolutely wicked. It is rapid. I mean, I know it's just under 300 brake, but I've done those kind of bits, so we should be around about the 300 brake now. We will need to go back there and find out just what we've got. But, I don't know, it's feeling, it's feeling good. What Nicky told me about going to a KF4 and this, he basically said, there's no point, because you can't get the power down. And I was always under the impression that a Mark II TT is the same as the Mark V Golf, where the same chassis, whereas a lot of it, it actually is the same. But obviously the body and how it puts its weight down and how it puts its power down is actually totally different. You get a lot more traction apparently with a Mark V Golf than you do get in a Mark II TT. So he said there's actually no point going for a KF4 because you'd never get the power down. And to be fair, with this, this struggles to put the power down now. So I think around that 300 brake mark is basically where you want to be. You don't need to go any more than that. And uh, it's, it's happy days. I'm like, well appreciated what the dog guy's done. They've done such a good map on it. And I've said, we will get back up there to uh, get it on the rollers again and see if he needs to tweak it since obviously doing the actuator. But hopefully we should all be good. It's, it drives lovely. It drives so much nicer now. It's less droney. That's what it is. That's why it feels, it's less droney. That is why it felt different. Even though it's the cat seems smaller on this one, and it's now three inch all the way, it does feel less droney. Pleased of how the car's going at the moment, and uh, just need to get back up to our tech, get on those rollers, and see what we've got. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.